over I mean, I have been sitting on content for over a month now. This um, thrift flip was supposed to be out already and I've been sitting on it. So background story, I went to the thrift store. Um, I bought a few pieces to kind of use it to start practicing back on my sewing. You know, I used to do a little bit of sewing back in the days. <laughs> so I want to start, you know, doing that again. So I have decided to go to the thrift store, get a few pieces and just recreate them, right? So I got this oversized jacket from the men's section and uh, we're going to get into the video to see how all of that went from the beginning to the end. But um, let's just see what we're going to do with this today. Stay tuned for the rest of the video. I'm just going to walk you through how we recreate something out of this big oversized jacket. So let's just get right into it. I have donated to this thrift store before, so I'm quite familiar with it. Um, it's, 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 pretty, it's a pretty good size. Um, it's a Salvation Army. Um, they both have, you know, things for the female. They have a female section and also a male section. So I, I this day I was particularly looking for um, uh, fall blazers because I wanted to do the thrift flip as I showed previously. So even though they had cute shoes and other things, um, I wasn't really interested in them. Especially even this Calvin Klein dress was really a steal, and it was also fitting for fall. But I was on a mission to find blazers so here i am trying this all right so let's see so this one is a little bit too short i'm gonna try to find another one that's longer i'm trying to find a jack here these are all the male jackets yeah mm -hmm. I was trying to get the um the store attendant to help me, but obviously, as you can see, she didn't quite know what she was doing, right? <laughs> In terms of um, doing the videos for me, so I improvised by propping my phone up on a table they had there um, because I forgot my tripod. Okay. So here I am trying on different blazers, just trying to find a suiting one. I was looking more for a fall color because this was actually the beginning of fall um, based on when I recorded this video. This color was <coughs> not quite what I was looking for, so I did not go with this one. All right, so I was just going about putting all the ones that I like in one place. Yeah, what do you think about it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah because when i cut it then it, i can still have a little length down there i think i'm gonna so i was telling the store attendant that i think i was going to take that one and exactly that's what i did um i also got that vest you see it was for 5.99 i'm not sure if you saw me in that vest before they had some cute shoes steve madden i did try that one but as i said i didn't go for shoes they had the vince camuto which i wanted so badly but it could not fit me Anyways, I wrap it up because I had to go and um, I just grab a few things. Here I am waiting at the cashier. I'm waiting in line. <laughs> so this is what I got. Um, I can't wait for y'all to see that red blazer. I'm going to pop it out in the Christmas season. It is fire i really like it and can you make a wild guess um how much do you think i paid for all of these leave it in the comment section below so i'm thinking in my head like this might be something easy to do i don't know let me fix my camera i just want you to see what the jacket looks like on hope you can see me from over here these are extra long as i said it's oversized and it's open in the middle all right let's see what we can turn this into you come restyle this oversized jacket with me I'm about to make it pretty simple before i get on the machine to stitch i'm just gonna turn this into a crop top so i've already started marking where i think i'm gonna crop it from if you can see somewhere below this um 
this button right here. So let's just get right into that. Let's go chop chop. <laughs> Now, after cutting the jacket, I was like, okay, <laughs> this is what I'm working with. The bottom was so big and wide. I mean, I'm going to have to do a lot of alteration, like to take up that excessive part. And, you know, <laughs> as you can see, the waist is raw. So, of course, it's also going to need a waistband. But let's just get into it and see what we can do. It's actually a nice jacket. It has burgundy in there and other, I like brown, but... The camera is not doing any justice it's just looking all pale but when you go into it you'll see so here i am i was about to just basically pin up you know um the the extra excessive um fabric and just make it to my fit i was more freelancing um you know i wasn't really doing no exact measurement this was just a quick fix um but so i just estimated and see okay this is my size and um just spin it up accordingly and hoping and praying that okay it's going to fit me <laughs> i do have a tape measure i was about to measure it but i estimated it and i was like okay let's see so here i am basically just pinning it all together i am so afraid of needles and pins so don't ask me how the hell i like sewing when i don't like needles and pins anyways look at my face i don't even know why my concentration <laughs> my concentrating face is so disgusting like why am i doing my face like that oh my god it's not a good concentrating face anyways let's get to work so we are, we're doing it we're doing it it's all coming together um so yeah base it all up and then after this we are going to stitch it add a waistband and then see what the outcome is going to look like so we're all done i was flipping it over to see if we got a seam that was actually straight um which we did the only thing is i did not iron or press this out to get it very smooth so you know in the end it was a little rough but you know yeah now this was the moment of truth my least favorite part <laughs> i had to try it on of course it was not um, my fit it was a little bit too close it was smug, you know snug too tightly so it was actually gapping in the front where the button is and um it was just a hot mess anyways i had to adjust it in the end and as you can see how scared i was actually putting it on with those pins i did get one and two stick uh, trust me i don't like trying on clothes with pins anyways it, as i said it was it's too snug and i'm going to have to adjust it so i'm back y'all i'm pretty sure by now y'all would have noticed that this is a vlog because it's this different time frame different days so didn't get a chance to do everything all at once and story of my life but what we're doing today we're just going to stitch the skirt that we actually um cut so if you're just catching on i have this jacket that i have um converted into a crop jacket with a skirt from a whole long um male blazer so that's what we're working on so we're trying to get the skirt together i am trying to see i might have to make a waistband because the skirt is not going to have any waistband so i'm just marking it and i'm um, just gonna do the stitching 
here. It's not going to be anything perfect. I'm not taking out the lining or anything because it's just something really quick and fast, right? All right, so I've already pinned it up to how I want it. And I'm just going to stitch it down. And as I said, I might have to make a waistband for it because there's just no waist to it, okay? All right, let's get into it. table um my husband is actually going to make me one he just don't know yet um i think by the time he catch on to this video when i post it he will learn that um i need a sewing table i had one back in jamaica of course i could not take that here so he's gonna have to you know get his <laughs> his skills on right and make me a sewing table or i'm just gonna use the floor for now but I'm gonna need something for the fabric to kind of flow on stuff but we're just making use of what we have so far just you know we know very well how to do that well me let's just take out these pins as we go along i left my pin stuff upstairs uh hold on taking out the pins as I go along it's not the easiest thing to do I think I did it wrong you know why I did it wrong I turned the fabric the wrong way but anyways let's keep going it should have been the other way around you know but it's too late for that too late for that so. Just taking out the pins. Yeah. Trying to keep it together. Keeping it straight and nice. Mommy. Mm. I washing my face. Why didn't you tell daddy your face was already washed and lotion, baby? video papa so just give me a minute okay okay why don't you just do it yourself so i don't think it's that hard all right let's see what we got so here we go this is what we have just done doing finished doing so it's, it would appear as if it's coming together it looks like it needs a waistband and i have to try to make one okay i'm gonna try it on to see if it, if it actually <laughs> fits me if the measurement was right hold on so right now um what i'm trying to do i'm trying to actually make a waistband i don't have enough fabric um left over from what i just cut off at the skirt so i'm trying to see i might just have to i'm trying to see if i could make a waistband out of this um small piece of fabric that i have left over it's just not going to be long enough so i don't i'm not going to have enough not going to have enough and as i said it's, i'll probably have to use a different color fabric which i don't have so in this case um Let's see what we can do, right? Let's just see what we can do with what we have. 
with what we have, right? Uh, and don't forget that the jacket also is going to need, the jacket is also going to need a hemming here. So I might just have to leave it raw because I don't have any fabric to make a waist to kind of give it a finish, but you get the gist, right? You get the gist. All right, all right, all right, all right. So when I'm actually finished um, stitching this skirt together, we're just gonna style it in different ways. All right, that's the whole angle. So stay tuned. All right, guys, so I'm back from church. I had to, um, I had to stop sewing this morning to go to church. I am back and I'm just about to finish up putting on the, um, the waistband for the skirt. Um, you know, I cut it so the edges are very, very raw. So I'm just trying to put that in the waistband because it's already fringing out and all like that. So I'm just going to add a waistband from this, the little scratches that I found with a little excess that I got from the skirt itself, which it wasn't, it's not a lot enough, but I'm gonna just work with what I have, right? Um, so that's what I'm gonna be doing. Um, I wanted to go live today, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to go live again today, but um, probably next week. I just wanna get this video out the way because I have been on it for too long and I just want to, I just want it over with, right? This is a poor angle. My head is chopped off in some of the videos trying to demonstrate, you know, what I'm doing. But just bear with me. Uh, we're going to get it right as we find a cozy spot to do <laughs> the sewing. All right. So let me just try to see if I could get this waistband on. I have done uh, part of it. I have to be joining the, the bands, the fabric together. Okay, so um, so I, I stitched on the on the part for the waist, right? So let me see if I could come up close so you could see the difference. So see how it was like raw here. This is what I'm trying to do to kind of give it a more finished look, and then I'm gonna fold it over. Yeah. All right, so that's it for the waist. Then I'm gonna just put a hook to close the front part of it, yeah? I'm really not sure if you guys are seeing me. As I said, I'm gonna be working on a location soon because I don't think this is a good angle. I cannot be seen here. All right. Okay, guys, so this is actually look one. Um, these are very long so I just try to bring it back with my scrunchie so this is actually look one right so we got it we got the crop you want to wear it like a crop real crop where you show your stomach or if you want to you know just pull it down wear it like that but this is the outcome of it um yeah I, I put it along with these burgundy um semi boots Low boots, ankle boots, and this is the look. But I'm just showing you the outcome. Um, not 100%, but let me give you a little close up right here. I'm gonna put some pop up to the side. There you got it. These are still my old curls from yesterday. I haven't done anything to them apart from just getting up and just use my hand to wake them up a little bit. So that's what it is. So this is the look. Let's try to get into look two. All right guys, so this time I paired it with the skirt alone with this um, burgundy sweater. As you can see, we do have some burgundy pink stripe in the skirt. Um, so yeah, so I just tuck it under here in my bra, kind of just swing it down a little bit here to the side. Yeah, I'm going to drag back the sleeves as per usual. 
perform my sleeve that way. I added a necklace, and there we go. I did change the boots. These are some more flat boots than the one I had on. Obviously, these are more casual. That's what I heels. And then I put my brown socks to give that kind of casual look. All right, so this is the look. getting to look three so what I did here just added that the crop jacket um, over the um, the burgundy sweater so I just layered it which I think is really uh, a cute look you know um, <laughs> semi casual I love how I just kind of mix it with the socks and the little boots and then you know it's given a very cute little semi semi formal it's kind of it's giving casual formal it's, it's a mixture of all all of them and I just love how it came out um, the necklace when you accessorize um, that kind of put a little more you know prepping the step I guess it adds to it and elevate the look a lot um, shout out to my hairstyle too I mean it goes well with this outfit I think I look cutesy. <laughs> Very demure. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys are enjoying what I'm doing with this um, blazer so far. How I'm styling it. If you have some ideas, you can always leave it in the comment. Alright guys, so this is the last look. This is the last look. Um, decided to go with something heels. Um, I'm going to go with a little bit more semi-formal. <laughs> Thank you.